Hello and welcome to my update on the Great Granny Squared Quilt Along. I've got four blocks done. So what you need for this quilt along with Fat Quarter Shop and Lori Holt is the pattern Great Granny Squared by Lori Holt. It tells you how to make this granny square block, but it also includes instructions for two quilts, one table runner, one pillow, and two embroidered quilt labels. But it's not just about making the blocks. I have four done. And this particular pattern, if you make it exactly like Lori did, is 16. And I'll give you a little bit of a sneaky peek on what it looks like without giving away too much here. And you can see the pattern. It really is cool. But they are also doing a crochet along. Lori has been doing tutorials on her YouTube channel, which you can look up Lori Holt of B and In My Bonnet. And she has tutorials all about using her yarn, of course, but I didn't. I'm using scraps. Plus, I have granny squares from a cardigan project that I didn't finish. And there's a free pattern. It is really cool. And I haven't done cross stitch in years. But there is a free pattern by Lori. And it's free at the Fat Quarter Shop. You can do one granny square here. Or they color code it so you could use four together, make a pen cushion or something super cool. Now I'm going to tell you the only additional quilting item you'll need to make it so much easier is a 12 and a half inch square up ruler. You will need for the granny squares, just a crochet hook and some yarn. And you will need for the cross stitch pattern. Don't do what I did. If you don't have embroidery floss, that's preferred. And then cross stitch Ada cloth. However, I bought pearl cotton. So I'm going to show you my mistake, which is actually turning out to be a pretty good deal. <laughs> I bought pearl cotton, which is thick and not thin like embroidery threads. And I crossed this over two sets of squares. Now, it's not perfect. You can see I've got errors over here. But I'm going to do three in a row. And then I'm going to make either a pin cushion. Or I might use it as the front of a journal cover for my Silk and Sander journal. Anyway, I wanted to let you know, you could join along too. It's free to join along. Just go to Fat Quarter Shop, buy the book for the Great Granny Squared Quilt Along. It's happening all summer. You can jump in because if you're going to like me, I'm going super slow because guess what? When this started, I got COVID. I still have a little bit of congestion. And as an update in my life, I think I'm going to be a long hauler. It's been several months now and I'm still real tired. I have the raspy voice on inhalers, breathing is a problem, so slowly getting back into making videos. So I'm doing a little bit more handwork and stitching. I'm slowly, my brain is allowing me to think through quilting patterns. And what I like about the granny square, I learned how to do this when I was very young, so I don't have to think about it. And I can sit and pick up a crochet hook and just do many granny squares without causing any undue stress or learning curve like reading a pattern i think that's why i made a little mistake over here but can you tell from this far away no but i know there's a mistake there and that's what is so hard about post-covid syndrome is you really can't think the greatest and it's all about just once you know it's safe to go forward to rehabilitate your strength, the smell and taste is gone. I'm trying to do that as well as 
exercise and doing puzzles. So I think crafting is part of my rehab. So is stitching and so is crocheting and I'm doing other puzzles too. So if you have any tips or tricks for me on that, please let me know. I just wanted to do a quick update, let you know you can join the Great Granny Squared. And if you make an error and you don't have um, floss, but you have pearl cotton, or if you're like me and you make a mistake, just make your X's bigger. It'll all work out in the end and the project will be lovely. Stay tuned. I'll catch you up um, next time on any progress that I've made. <laughs> and until then, thanks for watching. I've been doing some shorts just because I can do those. Um, but in the meantime, have a great day of crafting, creating, doing some stitching, and just spending some time on doing what brings you happiness. Until next time.